And yes, we are back. Back again in Lawn Mowing Simulator. Back again to mow some lawns. Uh, and fragile, that's a word. Wherever you was, just follow. Thank you much to follow. You followed while the intro video thing was playing. But thank you indeed. Uh, yes, if you're watching this on uh, the YouTubes, uh, welcome. Uh, this is the second installment of my career in lawn mowing. Is that a thing? Can you have a career in lawn mowing? I'm guessing some people make things out of it. Uh, yes, last time uh, we... Um, mowed some lawns. I've got myself distracted already, haven't I? Yes, this going out on YouTube on a day. Uh, on other days, there's uh, some OMSI on a Monday. Uh, on a Wednesday, some trains. Uh, on a Friday, it, it, I don't know now what's going on. on a Friday, some things. Saturday, some trucking. And Sunday, this probably at some point. Uh, so yes, continuing uh, Lawn Mowing Simulator, uh, streaming this on the day of release, uh, where last time we managed to mow a lawn uh, and purchased a lawnmower, uh, so high trend and high stew. Uh, this being the lawnmower that we purchased, it's it's uh, it's a lawnmower. Apparently, it's got a 98 centimeter deck size. It's a mulcher. It's rear wheel drive. Uh, has a five liter fuel tank capacity and a top speed of 4.3 miles an hour. And I just realised I haven't put a link to the game in Twitch chat. So that's a thing because you know I'm professional and all that anyway uh there'll be a link in the description and watching this on youtube because i didn't do it in the twitch chat because i'm just useless basically uh hi dylan uh hi crisp uh so let's jump straight in because we've got another lawn to to mow uh so uh kingsbury house i think seems to be the thing uh so you've got to get 99.5 percent of the lawn cut uh between six and seven centimeters uh we've got four minutes to do the uh the ground check How's my trimming going? Well, uh, and 26 minutes to do the cutting uh, overall. Recommended depth, deck width, be careful. Uh, deck width is 110 centimeters. Thank you, Crisp. Uh, we've got 98, so it's close. And current grass range is between 12 and 20 centimeters. Uh, so employee is going to be me, because there's only me. And we've only got one vehicle. So it's going to be that. <laughs> deck width, deck width. Uh, we'll click on start. Yeah, I've been sat here for like 20 minutes and I think I've got, I'm ready for the stream and yeah, I hadn't linked to the game. Uh, right, so here's the uh, here's the lawn. It's quite... It's quite lawny, those lawns. Right, so I've got four minutes to do my ground check. That's someone whizzing by out there uh, which means finding uh, debris and things that could damage my uh, floor mower so there's four items it tells you uh, I think the garden gnome might actually do some damage over there so we'll uh, pick up the garden gnome because they've got a tendency to wander off um, let's see if we can find oh there's another one a toy car is that something debris isn't it lovely wasn't she? Okay. So where is there another one? We're going to another thing that's going to get in the way of our lawn mowing. Oh, thank you, Dylan. Uh, see, Dylan's done it. So one more thing. Did I, that's where I started. So I'm sure I've done everything. I've been around the outside of here. I'm looking for a thing. Ah, there we go. There we go. Right, return to vehicle. How's my day? Day's good. I'm not going to sprint because that's just far too much energy wasting. Uh, right, I'll get on the vehicle. I'll start it up. Right, we'll increase the throttle. So cut height is between six and seven. We'll go six because that's what we want to see. So I'm using this on an Xbox uh, controller. Um, lower the thing. Engage. 
Oh, and basically, Mo. Yeah, it is a very, one of those very therapeutic type games. Can you use a wheel? Not currently. Uh, Xbox controller and uh, keyboard and mouse. So basically you mow lawns and you get money for mowing lawns. Uh, the more money you make, uh, the uh, bigger equipment you can get, which means mowing the lawns then takes less time. Uh, further down the line then you can hire employees. So you could set one of your employees to do uh, the job and then they would make money. I haven't quite uh, got to that point yet, obviously, but I'm guessing that, oh, you would have to pay them a percentage. I'm in the bushes. Um, and then uh, you still have to do the maintenance on your lawnmower. So you wouldn't make much money from them. What on a lap? I got a lap. Uh, oh, nearly. Lawn and bush trimming, indeed. But yeah, it's definitely one of those games that uh, you don't think you will enjoy. But it reminds me quite a lot of uh, Farm Sim. In that uh, you can just quite easily just trundle round and round and round. I want to use PC specialist. I haven't personally, but some people in the Discord have, uh, with very good results. Right, so 10% done. Oh yeah, some of the gardens get huge, like stately home um, size gardens. So uh, absolutely massive. Your life has peaked, has it? Getting a PC built, which is over a K. Nice. But yeah, it's definitely one of those games you could put on, just trundle around a, a garden. Just a tower. Well, yeah, I think you need to spend that sort of money nowadays. Um, on just the tower to get something half decent but they have football stadiums I don't know, so the game only released today as I'm streaming I missed a bit there, didn't I? Uh, as I'm streaming this so it's an early uh, early thing I'm guessing if it's uh, popular you know, personally, yeah, football stadiums are quite cool to to see I'd like to see a good uh, a good cricket pitch because they're mowed to quite a high standard. It's mainly aimed at like residential, but I suppose eventually, um, you know, there could be some industrial sort of gardens, you know, pubs and things like that. Yeah, golf courses would be quite cool actually. Yeah, initial impressions, obviously it looks really good. There's a whole variety, if anybody watched the video I put out, uh, previously there's a whole variety of sizes of uh, lawn mowers you did a massive machine to harvest got not necessarily it just takes you longer right so our aim was was 99.5 percent of this being done but See, I've got the mulching version of the lawnmower. There's another version, or other versions, where you've actually got a, a collector on the back. So you actually, it fills up, and then you have to go and empty it. I chose the mulching version, uh, basically, for ease, because you haven't then got to worry about doing that. You just trundle around. I say, it does look really nice. I think the audio is quite good as well. So as you can see down the bottom left, your mower does get affected so you get vehicle condition engine condition 
uh, blades condition it does run out of fuel as well so the money you make from the job you've got puts on that back in fuel uh, Skippy hang on much for the host so it's not just a case of you know mowing and making money it's actually quite tough to make money especially if you can't mow Anything that annoys you so far as the camera angles? Um, it's it's not bad. Um, obviously, I've, I haven't played it much um, to be able to find something I like. Obviously, you want to be able to see where you're going. You'll be careful because if you hit flowers, you get deducted money. They charge you. And yeah, I, th I said in the first video, I think that uh, I think streaming would be quite good, but it's lawn mowing simulator. Oh God! See, I was trying to read chat and I missed a bit. I think if they wanted to add uh, streaming, they would have called it I don't know, Gardening Simulator. Oh, I'm not very good at this, am I? See, overlap. Overlap is definitely needed. Push mowers. Yeah, my neighbour growing up had a, had a push mower. See, I've missed all down that edge as well. I can give that a trim. There you go, because it's quite precise on the 99.5% uh, that we had to do. But it's quite, obviously there's got to be a, a limit if it tells you what height the grass has got to be. Yet who has their grass cut to a certain height? I just cut it till it's short. Got that loop, it's shorter than it was, job done. All right, 45. I quite like the fact that it's not just a five minute job um, doing the mowing. Run the fly mow. Imagine using a fly mow on something this big. The mower I got is cordless, it wouldn't cope with this. Across here, do that bit. All right, fifty percent. Oh God! See, I destroyed a flower. A bit of flower destruction, which means the owner is obviously watching me destroy their flowers. Is Ryobi uh, Flymo? Is that a cow I just heard? Okay, it does sound like we're on the farm. But yeah, definitely one of those games where you can just spend time just relaxing. Not a lot going on, nothing to worry about. Just going around, mowing grass. Missing bits like that over there. that bit over there. Ignore that. So 
So it probably takes a good 20 minutes. Well, I think it said 26 minutes. Um, oh, was the time. Yeah. Uh, Creeper Gaming. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the uh, madness or the moanness. Up around the outside of here. See, it's like one of those things in it when you've got something in the middle of your garden, like a tree. Do you go round the tree first and mow that and get the orchid bit out of the way and then go up and down? Or do you cope with the tree when you get to it? It's just, you know, it's these decisions you've got to make. A bit like painting, always do the cutting in first, so go round the edges first. Don't leave it too long before you do the bit in the middle, otherwise you end up with uh, picture framing and not the actual things. All right, 64%. It does come up and tell you uh, when you've reached uh, the limit. And then to end the garden, you just park your mower up back on your trailer. Yeah, it's one of those games that I think you'll either get it, enjoy it, spend time in it, or you'll just think, what the actual hell. I'm certainly interested in progressing up and uh, getting uh, the bigger mowers. So obviously bigger mowers mean faster. So this was saying it recommended a deck width of 110 centimeters, ours is 89. Big Mo, indeed. So we're a bit, you know, undersized. You can enter. Is it that one? one of them yeah there you go you can enter like a visual mode uh, which shows you the grass that hasn't been cut to the required length it's quite easy to see in this case but <laughs> yeah you've got your spidey set your lawny sense But if you're cutting a, gra a garden that's uh, already quite short, I should imagine it'd be more difficult to then make it. Why don't we go around there like that? Uh, to then make it shorter. So this was 12 centimeters, and we had to cut it down to six centimeters. So uh, it wasn't too bad. Alright, 72%. We can see our blade conditions come down. I didn't uh, repair the blade after the uh, after the last time. So you probably get a few gardens done. But that obviously will then cost you money. I'm no good at doing it. Uh, that will obviously cost you money to uh, repair your blade. Let's go around the left side this time. See, I just get rid of all the flowers. That was me. Just, yeah, just, get, just don't add the flowers. Flowers just get in the way. Just concrete it. Done. Wouldn't be good for the lawn mowing business, but you know, get someone to pressure wash it once a month or something. Or artificial grass. Can you buy spares at B&Q? Yeah, not quite. 
Uh, look around here. Yeah, uh, I don't know if it well, I don't know if it is an actual make of mower night. Build a house on it. It could do, sell it. Who needs gardens? So whether they've got actual licensing for it or whether are they are real brands, okay. Okay, so they have got licensing for it then. Can I go around that way? Mine the plants. Right, nearly 80% done. Oh, I could have gone around the other way. Oh yeah, his garden's huge. It takes me about like seven minutes to mow my garden. Yeah, I still never bother doing it. That's odd, really. Good thing is with this mower, it seems to not get to its top speed. Um, I think the other ones you've actually got to then watch your speed so you will actually do damage to the engine uh, if you just rev it too much so this I've got my sort of finger flat on the throttle um, so you really I think you gotta be careful you can test drive mowers before you buy them so there is a store where you can go and uh, take them for a test ride before you spend your money I'm already a fan of these mulching types you say purely because you haven't then got to uh, empty them uh, Sith Master thank you very very much for that that's uh, awesome of you uh, thank you indeed and welcome to the community ride before you oh. buy yeah. And then thank you for the follow. Which I'm guessing is probably a good thing to follow if you're subscribed, you know. Just saying. Right, 88%. We are getting there. So yeah, 99.5% we have to do to complete the lawn. Which you could just do. Don't kill the plants. Funny how the sub show before the follow. It's bizarre, isn't it? Twitch being Twitch. So yeah, I'll subscribe to this guy. I may as well follow him while I'm here. Yeah, if you are new to the stream, uh, the stream uh, six days of the week currently doing all sorts of things. Uh, this week, for example, tomorrow back with some train sim. Uh, Thursday's uh, some multiplayer flight in uh, MSFS. Friday, some American trucking. Saturday, lunchtime, uh, still to be decided. Don't know what to do. Uh, Saturday night, back with some Forza Horizon 4. Uh, Sunday afternoon, uh, got some farm sim. So loads of stuff to come. Right, 94.8. Which sounds like a radio station. Don't know why I just drove all the way around. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Right, 95.6, 95.8. So am I going to get my final... Oh, I destroyed a flower. Oh no. Death of a flower.
hopefully this, well, this is the last little bit to do so because this gives me my final few percentiles how much it cost about two dollars I think last time you get a bit of a tally at the end as to how much you made say so you could then do your maintenance on your mower or you could go straight in and just do your next one uh, if I can I should be able to show you the shop after this show you all different types of mowers that are available Ninety-eight point eight. There you go. Cut it complete. Turn the vehicle to a trailer. There we go. Over there. So there wasn't much we missed. So. You have to be pretty uh, pretty spot on. That's why I can now just go and kill all their flowers on the way out. Right, raise my deck. It's a deck. Ground damage. I've managed to damage the ground and destroy some of the grass. Ground damage caused by turning your vehicle at full lock for extended periods of time. Ground damage will earn your penalties and fines with some location, locations firing higher amounts than others. Oh! Oh, you tell me that now I've finished. So, don't go full lock then is the answer. Let me just back this up on here. Oh, you can get a bit of a flyby as to how you did. And here we see the perfectly mowed lawn Compliments of Sims and stuff gardening. A few flowers were destroyed in the making of this lawn. Right, see how we did. Okay, so we got ground check bonus of uh, five pound. Ground check earnings of twenty pound. A cutting time bonus we got was six pound twenty seven. Uh, valuables recovered was fine. Penalties and fines two pounds and a penny. Flowers destroyed two pounds. Ground damage was a penny. It's a lot of money. A penny. That's just. But £354.31p I got for earning that. That's not bad for 20 minutes' work, is it? I wouldn't mind being a gardener. I could do that for a job. 354 quid? Blimey. Okay, so uh, I can't upgrade. Uh, can I uh, garage? Right, if I go to the shop. Right, there we go. Okay, so here's the uh, <laughs> whole pet. I know. So here's the range of mowers that uh, you get with the game. So the, the basic one uh, is the uh, is the one that's there. So 84 centimeter deck size. Got to be really careful with that. Uh, which has got a collector box on the back. What the fan of that? Um, top speed of five and a half miles an hour. This is the one we've got. So 98 centimeter deck size um, with a mulcher on the back. Um, so it uh, mulches the grass. Then you go up to um, this one, which is side discharge. So an available attachment for that is a mulcher plate. So you can buy the mower and put the mulcher on it. So standard configuration. Um, so that might be the one to go for as the next option. So that's three and a half grand. Uh, we've currently got a grand in the bank. Up from that, it's a bigger version than the one we got. So 122 centimeter deck size. Um, so 48 inch uh, discharge deck and a 48 inch mulching deck can go on that. Then you go up to these things, which are big in the States. Um, you use the two levers in the top to make you go sort of forward and backwards and left and right. So you can turn the thing on its own axis. So zero turn. You can actually just sit and do, just spin it around. Uh, but 132 centimetres. So the deck size is certainly getting bigger. That's 8,400 quid. So it does come up in lumps. So three and a half grand, five one, 8,400. Up against a nine grand, 
Uh, it's actually smaller than that. Why would that one be better? 8 mile an hour, 8.5. Why would you go for that one then? Because that's... That's got a Tiger Stripe kit as well. So that looks... Because you can actually make stripes with that one. Yes, this one, 48 inch recycler kit. Uh, and that one is... Is that a dry rear... I don't know why you'd go for that. Anyway, um, so up again, 10 grand up to that one, which is 122 centimeters. Um, then up again to 155 centimeters. So we get ours is 89 centimeters. So it's, it's coming up in size. Then this thing, which just looks cool. Uh, 122 centimeters. Uh, it's four wheel drive, six and a half miles an hour top speed. Um, and it comes with a mulch plate. So that'll do the same thing as ours does, but just bigger. Uh, then up again 152 centimeters uh zero turn and then 127 that's industrial isn't it look at this look at that it's got lights on it and everything uh 31 thousand pounds for that one yikes uh and then uh, up to this thing 38 grand 152 centimeter um four wheel drive does 14 miles an hour so that thing's just going to whip around. So we've got a long way to go. Because we're only on that. <laughs> it does four miles an hour. So, you know, I think that's the one to aim for. Is that at uh, three and a half grand. So we've got a grand at the moment. So we've got another job has been offered to us. Uh, with a value of five. Well, there's one there at 530 pound. One there at 690 pound. Um, and then one there at £580. So, 690 It's, you know, sounds quite good. RP value of 135 reputation points. That scores 200. Hang on. So, that's that scores us more rep points, but less money. So, I'm guessing that's going to be smaller. So, I reckon... That one's the one to go for in it because we get more reputation points. But that one earns us more money. Which one do we reckon? The money one or the reputation points one? That one just seems a bit. Reputation. Yeah, I'm thinking towards reputation because that might do us better. Go big. Yeah, I'm thinking reputation. Money, you're saying. 690. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to go with RP. You're saying money as well. I'm thinking reputation because it's only... Oh, solid. We'll go with the money. Uh... So 99.5% of the cut leaves a general cut uh, between 7 and 8 centimetres this time. Uh, 5 minute ground check, 33 minute cutting time. Recommended deck width is 130 centimetres. Let me go back to the other one then. What does that say? 99.5, um, 7 to 8. Recommended deck. See, either way, we got our deck's too small. Current grass range is 22 to 30 centimetres. Are we going to cope with that? What's that, what's that one? Oh, it's the same thing. Mm, I'm going to go reputation. We'll assign me. We'll assign our thing. And we'll confirm. We'll go reputation. Yeah, as Ghost just said, it might lead to, uh, to bigger jobs. You never know. That's nice. That's my house. Oh, look, they, they modelled it on my house. How oh, very nice of them. Uh, right, ground checks. Okay, let's have a walk around. So we're looking for three... Oh, oh God, it goes round there. I thought, oh, it's going to be this bit here. That's going to be fine. So we're looking for three things in the grass. Um, oh, okay. Okay. It goes around. All right. Yeah. Okay. This. This. Okay. It's going to be interesting. 
Uh, oh, there's a gnome. Oh, there's one. Yeah, and this wasn't the uh, this wasn't the biggest one, was it? Where's the? Oh, there's one over there. Look. Bit inconsiderate leaving things lying around. Okay, there's two. So we're looking for a third thing that they've handily left on the grass. And we've got two minutes to find it. Where is it then? Where did I go? In the middle here? Because if you don't pick them up, they, bits could damage your mower. And also you get a bonus then for actually picking them up. Um, where? Aha, there you are, you little bugger. A ball. Alright, return to vehicle. Wow, yeah, this is definitely bigger than I thought it was going to be. But it does look good. Yeah, if you are watching this on the YouTubes, there will be a link in the description below to the game uh, where you can purchase it on Steam. Uh, there will also be a link down there uh, to the uh, Discord server, uh, which is an awesome community uh, over there on Discord. Change cutting blades for 50. No, cutting blades are fine. Fill with fuel. Fuel, we're okay. We'll get on the vehicle. Okay. Bring the throttle up. We have to go around this in a uh, go around clockwise. Let's do it the farm sim way. We'll go around clockwise. So lower our deck. Uh, hang on. Six and seven, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh God. Just drive into the bush. Oh, hang on, I've killed a flower already. That went well. That's why it's probably better to go round the... Around the outside first, get all your flower killing out of the way. Bring that angle down. Which bush, George or Barbara? And, uh, one of them dead now? Uh, hi, Dave. Oh, God, see. See blade conditions down, so I might have to do some maintenance after this one. Fuel's halfway, so I definitely have to put some fuel in after this job. So I don't mind a lawn. But I wouldn't be bothered by all the, you know, flowers and things. I just tend to grow weeds. So it's going to be interesting to see once we... Is that my... Is that my Porsche? If I use that to uh, tow my trailer, uh, can't be doing that bad then, can we? Um, be interesting to see what happens when uh, we can afford another mower, because then I'm guessing we can buy it, and whether we can then get another employee, so we can then do two jobs at a time. I do one, they do one, and then you work up towards buying a a third mower and you 
you start building your mowing empire. Yeah, this definitely reminds me of uh, of farm sim. So I think if you're the sort of person that is happy just trundling around the field in farm sim, uh, I think you'd like this. And certainly with an Xbox controller, eventually I think steering wheel support will probably come, so it'll be quite easy with a wheel. But at the moment, just using a uh, controller is really simple. Controls seem to be quite nicely done, quite well laid out. Easy to manoeuvre graphically, I think it looks really nice. There you go, 20% done already over the path. I should charge them for damaging my lawnmower blades on their path. No need to reseed or fertilise. <laughs> yeah. This is like Dylan's ideal game. It's like, yep, yeah, just lawn mowing. Which we did some of on the, uh, the last farming stream. No, I don't. Well, I don't know. No, because it only allows you to. I don't know whether you could both work on the same. I, I don't think you would be able to have two people on the same garden at the same time. So I think the good thing is then that you would see. I would do one, and my worker would do one, so that we're both earning money. Obviously, they would have maintenance to do on their mower whether I would then have to do that and then pay them a salary and then so you wouldn't make as much from their one so I think that's be quite interesting so yeah you know get enough money to get another mower the one with the uh, the mulching deck on it I could then use that and then get my employee to use this worker team member associate worker they work for me they are my worker like the fact we actually get it bumps up over the uh, over the path as well. Oh, I destroyed a flower. Associate grass cutter extraordinaire. They probably wouldn't call themselves grass cutters, would they? They'd have some fancy name. It says I got uh, penalised on the last one for going full lock. Well, surely it's a lawnmower. It's designed to be on a lawn. It's designed to go full lock. If it wasn't designed to go full lock, make the full lock less locky. If that's even a thing. Here's my spidey sense. That one or that one? see what's not being cut. Uh, I don't know Infamous, as I said, it only released today. So uh, I don't know what their plans are going forward. But yeah, first impressions. I wasn't sure, if I'm honest, uh, what it would be like, whether I would like it. Um, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't be streaming it. Right, let's go around th this side. 
Oh god, I killed another flower. Uh oh, I killed another flower. Sorry about that. Just, just be, just be me here killing flowers. Let's just do the whole of this bit now while I'm here. Oh, they won't get me back, will they? So, like, what? That Sims and stuff mowing service is turned up. Killed off my bloody flowers. The flower killer service, yeah. <laughs> Morris, Morris Grass Blaster 3000. It's the Nimbus 3000. Hi Sam. Hi, 54% done. Yeah, I definitely think it's got a very relaxing quality to it. And uh, I do like uh, things like this that you can just there's no complexity, there's no, you know, levelling up. You haven't got to think about it too much. It's the sort of uh, game you can put on, you know, do a garden, so half an hour, 40 minutes, and then uh, turn it off if need be. Don Rado, 17 months of watching you play semi-good sims. Not this is actual sim gaming. It's lawn mowing simulator. I'm simulating driving a lawn mower. But thank you, Don. Uh, Don, we have found out uh, when he turns up at the meetup next week, uh, will not be dressed as a leprechaun. Uh, we're all disappointed by that, obviously. So, Stu, is it? We could dress as a potato. Now there's an idea. Just so we know who he is. Hopefully he will be dressed. Well, yeah, we can hope. Otherwise, you know, I don't think they'll let him in the country. All right, it's taken us 11 minutes so far. I think we had 32 minutes to do this garden. You'll be wearing a Grimsby Town kit. Right, so the uh, the planned meetup uh, location uh, is now going to have to change. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll message everybody uh, individually, uh, just so we can avoid the idiot uh, dressed in the uh, Grimsby Town top. Because I'm not being seen in public with someone that's wearing a football top. I'm sorry. Missed a bit. Yeah, well, I'll get on the next way around. Then have a jacket too. Hopefully you're not, you know, just wearing the uh, football top. Because, you know, just in case it's cold. Right, 75% done. around this side of the tree get this bit okay. actually I may as well get that bit as well while I'm here then this top bit's done, isn't it? I haven't got to come back up here again.
Oh god. There we go, right. So it's just this bit down the bottom now. Pivoting rear axle. Oh yeah, I've got a pivoting action going on. You did just say that. You are turning into quite a weirdo, Sam, just in case you didn't know. In fact, he looks at it when he's going backwards, he's like, oh yeah. Yeah, I know. Turning into a weirdo. Well, that's true. Yeah, the uh, lawn mowing and house flipper was a bit naff. National Lawn Mower Museum next year. <laughs> Is there one? No, no, definitely not. All right, eight three percent. It's got quite a quite a turning circle. As turning circles go, I'll probably get sold off again for putting full lock on. So hang on, so there actually is a National Lawnmower Museum. And that is a pencil museum in Cumbria. This is a game. It is definitely 100% a game and quite a good one at that. Right, uh, Blackpool meetup next year then. Ninety percent, ten to go. See, I can do maths. I am a mathist. Mathis? Wasn't he the guy? Country singer guy. Actually, blade conditions down to a third. Or third gone. So blade condition would be alright for another lawn. Fuel is flashing red. That's probably not a good thing. The National Lawn Mower Museum. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, hang on, I'm not a bit the other side of the path. Oh yeah, look at my ass. You can't go for two reasons. Uh-huh. Hay fever and washing your hair. Hay fever's believable. But how that would affect you in a... Uh, I don't think they're actually... They've probably got very neat lawns. I have chin hair that needs shampooing. 99% 99.3 Cutting complete Whee. There we go See it does actually take that long to do So things definitely it, The fuel thing is flashing at me Even though it's on a quarter of a tank So blade condition, yeah, probably does need looking at. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, no, it's my third lawn. So, yeah, it could it'll survive another couple, probably. There we go. Right, now we get a look. It's not bad. Apart from, you know, I killed a couple of plants. Looks alright. Very, uh... Very, I think it looks a bit too short, personally, but, you know... I quite liked it. Long and wavy. Right, we'll see what... Uh, how much money I lost. Uh, right, ground check bonus, we got uh, £4.07. Ground check earnings, £25. Uh, cutting time bonus, 15 quid. Penalties and fines, £7.25. Flowers destroyed, £6. Collisions? What did I collide with? £1.25. So I earned £541.90 uh, for that. So that's not bad. It takes up to... Uh, 1600 quid uh, right uh, upgrade I don't want to upgrade oh no I don't want to exit career mode garage shop maintenance that's what I wanted to do okay so vehicle repair vehicles fine engine repair engines fine blades repair they're at 62 percent i think we're going to save the blades 541 pounds to cut the grass i know exactly blades are fine uh we will refuel that was a noise uh so finance overview company value 153 grand that's not bad for a lawn mowing company building value 150 grand total earned 1200 quid total spent 2600 oh, we can apply for a loan oh that's dangerous that is dangerous we'll do one more lawn and then we'll uh, we'll apply for a loan and see if we can uh get another employee so the jefferson garden uh 505 pound for that one uh miller brook what sort of grass is this exactly yeah it's 580 quid and old nook cottage that's quite complex i think i'm gonna go with miller brook because it's only got two star complexity earns us 580 quid so 99.5 percent cut is what they want uh, cutting height between five and a half and six six and a half centimeters so that'll be six centimeters then um hi sim hub uh, we get five minutes to do our check um recommended deck width uh is 120 centimeters which we've got 98 uh and thank you for the host sim hub current grass range is 12 to 18 centimeters so it's quite tall in places so our employee is me and our vehicle uh, is uh, that one uh, so let's uh, see what this gardens that's deck all right deck with oh I say a bit of a pergola oh god those flowers aren't gonna survive once a month this is a weekly service every week I'll turn up yeah I'm on your lawn every every Wednesday 500 pound a time yeah thanks very much Okay, right. Hey, okay, I'm already starting to think, how the hell am I going to get... Is my thing going to fit through there? Oh, God. How many of these flowers are going to get taken out on the way to the lawn? <laughs> oh, 540 quid a pop, you won't. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for five bits of uh, stuff on the ground. Um, I don't know what they would actually charge it ain't gonna be 500 pound a time is it oh was that a thing that could be a thing oh yeah you've left your <laughs> you left your loppers out oh toy car bloody kids right, that's two well i mow my lawn after playing this uh, i was gonna do it this afternoon but basically couldn't be bothered um 
I knew I'd be mowing the lawn tonight, so I didn't want to have too much mowing in one day. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Three. <laughs> it says good. It says good. Not realistic. Well, yeah. Come on then. Looking for two more. Oh my! What the hell is this over here? They just keep chucking extra bits of lawn in. How much gra grass does one family need? Okay, I think I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to treat this as two separate bits aren't I? I'm going to have to do the stuff to one side of the path as one thing and then go and do the other side of the path because otherwise it's just going to be oh oh here's one right so one more thing to find and then I can uh, get on my mower here it is right return to the vehicle there we go so yeah I'll, I'll do this side first and then go and do the other side and then uh, we'll see if we can take out a loan after this uh, one and see if we can get another mower um, and then hire an employee. See how that works. Right, start the engine. Increase the throttle. Cut height, put them down to six centimeters because I want it between five and a half and six and a half. Any of the houses have dogs. You have to do a poop control. I just get flung everywhere. All right, be careful not to uh, kill the flowers on the way to the lawn. All right, lower my deck. Oh god, see, I've killed a flower already. Right, round this one we go. Yeah, it's definitely one of those relaxing games. First person view, no. Which I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. Uh, Pro view. No, I'd say. D pad change cut height, throttle, right stick, Pro view, reset camera. Change camera. Why? Hang on, there might be. Hang on. Oh, yes, there is. There we go. I can't see my fan like that, if I'm honest. Oh, you've got three levels of zoom. So you can have first person, all the way out zoom. Slightly in zoom, which you can... That's probably uh, not a bad... Or the one I was in. Imagine this with track IR. Yeah, if you get steering wheel support, it'd be quite good. Yeah, you know, first impressions, I actually really do like it. Um, I think there's a, a completion aspect to it. Steering wheel support. That'd be quite cool with steering wheel support. Because, you know, I'd like to own all of the mowers. I think that would be the aim. And have enough employees to... Uh, to be able to drive all of the mowers so there's probably a fair bit of gameplay involved you know so far we haven't been to the same garden twice which good thing really because it's only the fourth 
lawn that I've mowed. So you wouldn't think you'd want to, but you know, as in with actual contract lawn mowing, uh, you would go back to the same property again. Because, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Fontleroy Jones uh, will have you uh, will have you back to uh, to mow the lawn. But I don't know. It's actually working really well with a controller. You may regret asking this. Uh oh. How does each lawn compare? Uh. Well, size-wise, they're all different. I think the more complex, the harder it's going to be. Um, and obviously, the cutting rate is a factor. But I think once you set the cutting height, unless it gets down the line that some lawns will want, you know, a certain bit cut to a certain height, and you know, a bit like when you have your hair cut. You have the, the back and the sides at one length. You have the, you know, the rest of it at another length. So it may be that, whether they add it in the future, that you know, it could have a, a multi, a multi-level lawn, maybe a bowling green, croquet, croquet lawn. I think graphically it does look really nice and yeah just very relaxing so we've got the other side of the path to do as well but I want to do this side first you wouldn't know anything about air cuts been a while I'm gonna get mine done before the uh, the meetup Otherwise, you know, people think some sort of wild hippies turned up. So yeah, we'll do this lawn and then we'll try taking out a loan. And then see how that, whether we've got to uh, upgrade the HQ to um, be able to have another employee. That might be the case. That's a long time, Sam. Yeah, I just like the fact that it is just simple. Sometimes you just want a simple sim. And I say it does remind me a hell of a lot of uh, of farming in that you're just trundling round mowing the lawn so blade condition still above 50 percent i don't think that affects our performance or anything Oh, I missed a bit over there, look. Here's the game out, released today. I did a video on it, went out on YouTube uh, yesterday. And uh, released today. And yeah, I'd, I'd say based on the hour and a half I've got into it so far, it's uh, it's actually worth it. Oh, I'd love a ride on lawnmower. My brother uh, moved to France last year, and uh, he's got a ride on lawnmower. I am very envious. Although next year I'm turning my lawn from a lawn into just gravel. So having a ride on lawnmower probably wouldn't be a lot of benefit. I can have one.
be. I can imagine if he did have a, you know, I'm not a fan of mowing lawns, but I should imagine if you're, you know, won the lottery, not enough to have a gardener, but enough to have a garden, a big enough garden, I think I'd be quite happy just trundling round on a ride on lawnmower. This is for James Summer. Did he invent the ride on lawnmower? Weren't the first ride on lawnmowers like the self propelled, um, like Mount Fields, those green ones, but they just had like a little seat that got pulled along behind? Gravel would make a very good base for parking a riding lawnmower. It would. I could start my own lawnmower museum. You know, all museums have got to start with, you know, one thing. Rising popularity of lawn sports helped prompt the spread of the invention. Uh, lawn mowers became more efficient alternative to the scythe and domesticated grazing animals. James Sumner of Lancashire patented the first steam-powered ride-on lawn mower in 1893. Right. There's a little bit down here. So we've still got to do the bit the other side of the path. Because we're only 50% through. I damaged the ground. Oh yeah, I did look. I'll do burnouts. Oh dear. Yeah, don't go full lock, kids. It'll grow back. Need to get professional gardener in there, it'll be fine. Sims and stuff, gardening services. Uh, so yeah, it definitely doesn't like full lot because you will churn up the ground. Yeah, it's all right. So yeah, so tomorrow night we got some uh, train sim. Um, oh yeah, that's that's why I finish the streams by nine o'clock. See, that's where I am. Down at uh, the Mackey D's car park with me uh, baseball cap on backwards and me tunes and me and me drum and bass. Anyway, yeah, tomorrow night got some train sim. Uh, Thursday night, uh, the return of MSFS. That's going to go well. Um, did a flight from Southampton to uh, Liverpool. Providing MSFS actually, you know, works. Uh, Friday night, so American trucking. Uh, Saturday lunchtime to be decided. How did Eagles go down in Mackie P's car park? <laughs> uh, surprisingly not well. Bit of uh, bit of Joe Bonamassa blasting out. See, why don't they design the lawn around the ability to mow it easier? Oh yeah, it'll be fine. If I test it Thursday afternoon, which is my plan, it will be absolutely fine. And the second I start the stream, it will crap out. I'm not going to put... Uh, I'm not going to use Sim Toolkit Pro. I'm not going to use my stream overlay thing. I'm not going to plug in my um, control panels. I'm not going to give it any excuses. Right, so that side, I think, is done. Yeah, right, okay. Looks like it. Yeah, that side's done. So now I've got to go and do the other side. So 
See, why put the tree? Just make gardens square. Have you shed your windows in? But there's a bottle of uh, box of wine in there. So I'm just going down the shed, dear. Comes back pissed. Stream title go and <laughs> uh, it'll be uh, well. That's also the golf of friends is also to back up for Saturday night when uh, oh god that's tight uh, when Forza doesn't work or when there isn't enough of us for Forza. I think it might only be like three of us. Wow. Yeah, I definitely need to have words with them about their, the complexity of their lawn. They should charge you extra for having a, a twiddly lawn. We do need to find a cr decent cricket game. We've got to do Pro Evo as well uh, in a few weeks' time. Some football. And a bit of uh, a bit of fighting on ice as well. That needs to be a thing. This is definitely very, very relaxing. And you could just sit on this, and you just get into that just zone of just going round and round. I think I've definitely adopted the uh, the farming technique of just going round the outside of the field rather than the whole, you know, go up and down thing. Because you couldn't really go up and down on this. So if you are new to the stream, uh, there'll be a link uh, along soon. It's just been up. Uh, to the Discord community. If you're into any sort of sim gaming, uh, then do check out the uh, the Discord. Uh, a right bunch of weirdos on there, um, but uh, sometimes can be nice and occasionally helpful. Occasionally. Right. So what I'll do now is I'll go round the uh, camera. I did say sometimes. Quite nice having the table and chairs here. My gripe with it is how do you get to it without walking on the grass? Why would you not have a path coming like out from under the pergola? Why would you not have a little path going right across to there? So you could come out the house under the pergola, turn right and then to there. Why would you not do that? See I should be a landscape gardener thing, garden designer. Call me uh, what's a face off of um, the thingy with um, Alan Titchwatts it the one that got fat. I'm not keep off the grass anchor. It just it would be nice to have a path there because you know you don't want your stilettos sinking into the grass. Charlie Dimmock, that's what I was thinking of. Charlie Dimmock. Yeah, the one that got really fat. The 
the build a bloke on there was actually quite entertaining. Tommy Walsh, whatever his name was. Oh, Charlie when she was slim. Yeah, she's not anymore. Right, 82% complete. The annoying Cockney. I didn't realise you were Cockney, Tux. annoying this is true has anyone attending to meet up next Saturday we'll find out see I think it looked better longer Sorry, Mr. Customer. I know you're paying me a lot of money to uh, to mow your lawn, but I think he wanted it to, too short. Right, eighty-nine percent. Sing out. Oh god, don't try and read chat and mow a lawn at the same time. It doesn't end well. Yep. Watching grass grow. Now watching grass be cut. There'll be a difference, there be. Uh, I'll be careful I don't go full lock. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what uh, watch the video on Monday. What of this? We'll see what um, we can do money-wise after this lawn. Um, I don't know if we've got to upgrade the. Uh, headquarters to be able to have another employee. I'm guessing that we need to upgrade it thinking logically to be able to house another lawnmower. So in other words we buy a bigger shed. We will find out four lawns in and we will uh, look at expanding our lawn empire so headquarters is in fact shed quarters you're not going to have some posh office building are you when you've got you know it's you, Tim, and a couple of lawnmowers. I should imagine it'll be a, a garage somewhere with a couple of lawnmowers in. And would you have a trailer or would you have a pickup truck? And then, you know, drive your, your ride on up into the back of the pickup. Certainly, if that's all you're doing. Not usually a dining room table. But if you can get away with parking a ride on lawnmower on your dining room table. 
whether your significant other would be happy with that. I'd have to move my pot plant out of the way. Right, cutting complete. Yeah, but we can't we can't leave that. We can't say, yeah, I've cut your lawn, but I'm just gonna you know just gonna leave a bit. Oh god, okay. Here we go. Right, reverse onto the trailer. Without taking out. See, I put a path under the pergola. I put a path across there, leading to that seating area. This is my garden, and you know I get rid of the well, not the flowers basically, because where's the garage? We're supposed to do be a car, and the whole thatch cottage thing. No, because thatch is really hard and uh, expensive to maintain. Oh, hang on, I've done a thing. There we go. Ding dong. How does it look? Is it looking good? I think it's looking good. It's not looking bad. I still think it's, it's too short, personally, but you know. Right, how do we do? Ground check bonus, £5.31. Ground check earnings, £20. Cutting time bonus, £26 bonus. Woohoo. Uh, penalties and fines, £3.60. A pound for destroying a flower. Uh, a pound for a collision. £1.48 for ground damage. Incorrect cut height penalty. 12p. 12p for an incorrect cut height penalty. What bit? When did I change the height of my thing? Okay. Oh, 62 reputation points to the next level. Uh, okay. Ah, yeah, upgrade bays. So, yeah, I need to upgrade the company then before I can get another bay in. I should an upgrade red wall building. This will take seven days to complete, cost £1,500, allow for one extra bay. Yeah, we're going to have to then, aren't we? So that's going to take seven days. So then we can, so we can't get another advertisement. Social media ad cost two hundred fifty. Local flyers printing me can't afford that. Because you can actually do uh, edit company, edit player. So I'm, how are we then? I'm guessing when we upgrade. Uh, hi John. We can then look at. Uh, yeah, we can't look at the shop because we haven't got a bay available. So apply for a loan. Original loan amount two and a half grand. Ten grand loan. Seventeen hundred pound a week. Blimey. Oh, I see. We got to get to a level. Twenty-five grand. Are required credible rank two before we can apply for a loan. Uh huh. Hi, Astros. Okay, so we can't apply for a loan just yet, then. Until we get to credible rank two. And we're currently newcomer rank four. Blimey. Okay, so we've got to persevere on. Well, we're upgrading our. Uh, uh, oh, God. Right, okay. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Of course, stop. Right, so. So the Jefferson Garden, the Davies Garden, earns 790 quid, 690, 790, that's, uh, that's quite a lot of money. 
well, we need the money now because some, some idiot spent it all. It's going to take seven days to build that flipping thing. Okay, we'll do the Davies Garden. That gets our RP value up a bit. So 99.5% we need to cut. Uh, cutting height between five and six centimeters. That's short. You get five minutes and 40 seconds to do our ground check and 32 minutes 30 to cut time. A recommended deck width, 130 centimeters. 130 centimeters. You've only got 98. Um, cut grass range, 13 centimeters, 20 centimeters. There's a contract requirements. Um, mulcher or collector. Oh, I see. So some uh, contracts then you might not be able to use a certain type of mower. Ah, see, I didn't think of that. The Davies Garden Hilltop House uh, features a piece uh, by the illustrious modern artist Michael Davies. The surrounding lawn requires a general cut with a mulcher or collector. Be very careful not to damage the installations and ground or high fines will be incurred. Oh dear. So employee has got to be me. And the vehicle, we've only got one. Um, so let's, uh, let's do this one then. Why have they gone at? <laughs> Hang on, that's an at and a hashtag in one bit of art. Looks quite nice though. Right, so seven things to collect. Is this, is there only the one lawn? It's a van. All right, mate. Oh God, I've got BT21. Oh, it should be oh, 80, 21, Mo. That's oh, my van. I am van man. Where's my van been parked all this time then? That's quite a nice. Look, a bit of an Audi. Uh, Audi parked out there. Yeah, that's not bad. Anyway, right, uh, the mowing. Uh, oh, there's one. At least it's one lawn. I am on the search for things. We are looking for things. Things are the things we are looking for. It's one right over there. It's quite undulating. Newspaper. Paper boy got lazy. Can we bother to uh, post it through the letterbox? Tennis ball. That's four. Oh, what's that? Another magazine there. You won't ask what sort of magazine. Law Mowing Monthly or something. Six. Okay, one more to go. Exactly. Come on, where are you? We are looking for one more item. It's got to be out here somewhere. It's nice. I just want a couple of fish in there, though. Come on, item. Where am you? Is it up here? Did I miss it as I came in? Oh, I didn't repair my blades, did I? Fuel's okay. I know we're going to be alright on fuel. Come on, where are you? I'll do a perimeter search. Aha, there we are. There we go. Right, return to vehicle. So we got the bits in the time we needed to get them in. So fairly easy one to do, this one, I think. Uh, trees could be interesting. We've got to go around that bit in the middle, around the at hashtag symbol thing. But we'll just start by going around the outside, around the outside. Uh, so I can put fuel in. I can change the cutting blades if I wanted to. Uh, fuel, we know we're okay. We'll get on the vehicle. Uh, start it up. A 
bit of vibration from the uh, oh, nice garage. Yeah, I could live there, I think. Be right, slum it a bit. Oh, right down we go. See, it's modelled quite well. The blades are damaged. The ability to cut is now affected. What? Been there a bit. What? Why? What's going on? What's happened? Are they now not cutting? They're cutting at the wrong height. Oh crap, here I am. Oh, gone out. So it's going well, is what we're saying. I think I've cut it off. There we go. Oh god. Okay, I might have damaged their fence slightly there. Oh god, okay. Yeah, this is not going well. Hang on, no, my fault, that was my bad, completely my fault, own up to that. So I'm going to have to change my cutting blades after this one. Oh god. Kill myself on a flipping lawnmower. Death by ride on lawnmower. Right, three percent done. And we haven't been uh, all the way round yet. Oh god, mind the tree, there's a tree there, mind that, it's, it could be slightly, oh god! Oh! Yeah, vehicle conditions coming down now. Right, there we go. Right, one lap done. We're okay. Right, we're on the way now. Hopefully you don't, don't notice that the fence got accidentally damaged by... A, uh, it was a neighbour's cat. The neighbour's cat did it. Came along and damaged the fence. I saw it. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of Farm Sim, because once you do that first lap around the outside, like a buffalo girl, um, it, uh, it does get a little bit easier. Right, so at the right cut height now, fuel is half a tank already. So we need to put fuel in after this one. It's not great on fuel, well it's not a very big fuel tank. Lawnmower sim indeed. So 
So vehicle condition is not doing too bad. Blade condition, yeah, well, we know that's not great. And we're going to need fuel. It is going to take seven days to build that HQ. And then we can't take out a loan until our points go up. So it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I thought, you know, if we could just take out a loan straight away, got another uh, lawnmowerist and another lawnmower, um, then it might have been quite easy to make money. Uh, I did uh, mowing in the last FS19 stream on uh, on Sunday. More farm sim uh, this Sunday. Yeah, definitely a bigger lawn because we're only 14 percent of the way through. But yeah, really relaxing. That lighting's quite nice as well. I do like the fact that there is stuff to aim for. Like, you know, if you wanted to end up with every type of lawnmower, there's quite a bit of gameplay. You know, so far we haven't done the same lawn twice, but I can imagine that is going to happen at some point because there's not an infinite amount. So you are going to go back to the same lawn. What time on Sunday? Midday. Some clowns put a concrete bench in the middle of the lawn there. So let's watch out for that when we go around again. Yeah, train sim tomorrow night. Uh, something in the UK. No idea what. Uh, MSFS multiplayer flight in the UK on uh, Thursday. Friday, uh, trucking not in the UK, but in America carrying on from where we got to uh, last week which was somewhere up in Oregon uh, Saturday lunchtime not sure what yet uh, and uh, Saturday night hopefully some Forza Horizon 4 but could end up being uh, golf with friends Right, 21% done. So it's quite nice that it's just, it's not a difficult game, this one. Sim. It is quite, well, nice and easy. Sometimes that's exactly what you want. So I don't know what the gap is. I haven't spotted yet to see what the gap is between jobs. Whether they go from like one day to the next day. So it's going to be seven days for our headquarters to be built there's no way it would seem of like advancing time or anything so is that going to be seven jobs then so we've got to wait to mow another seven lawns before our headquarters is built are you doing like one job a day haven't really spotted to see if the days advance with each job Realistically, you're not going to do one 
law on a day, although if I was earning £500 a, a day, I'd be quite happy, thanks very much. I'd only work two days a week, it'd be great. Oh, God. Okay, that might have damaged the blade a little bit more. I might be pulling a freight train worth of floor blowers tomorrow. Uh, it will be a passenger run tomorrow. It won't be freight. I can uh, guarantee that. Uh, it'll be somewhere in the UK. What did we do last time? We did... Um, Oh, HST went at York to London last week. Yeah, maybe... Uh, fancy doing Wales. There's the... Uh, um, Cardiff to... Uh, or Newport to Shrewsbury. Might do a bit of Wales tomorrow. I've done a Welsh line. How are we doing? 34% done. Whalers are whalers. Whalers in whalers, isn't it? Right, around that bench now. Hopefully we've got enough fuel. I don't know what's going to happen if we run out of fuel. Because we're only just over a third of the way there. It's definitely a heck of a lawn, this one. Shame it doesn't tell you, like, the lawn size at, uh, at the start. If it did, I, I missed it. Because you can tell, the, it says the difficulty of the lawn, but it doesn't say how big. Uh, I don't know. I'm just fancying a, doing a Welsh route. I will uh, have a look uh, tomorrow. See what I've got. Yeah, 100% one of those very chilled out sims. I'll be driving a train in Wales, not swimming with them. Yeah. Well, we've done Scotland recently, haven't we? We've done, like, down at uh, Penzance. We've done... London to Brighton, uh, we've done Cornwall, I haven't done Wales for a long time, so uh, we will uh, do a bit of Welsh Wales. If you go past the Harbour Gabani, I'll wave at you, isn't it? I'll give you a wave, there will. That was quite bad, really, wasn't it? Do you want to give me a wave, just a wave from Wales, a Welsh wave? All right, forty-six percent done. Loop round the tree. Doesn't seem as though there's another, like, same amount left to do, but I suppose there is.
no worse than your accent. Well, yeah. What, your actual accent or your attempt at Welsh? John, by the way, another one of the falls that's going to be at the meetup uh, next week. I mean, another one of the lovely people from the uh, from the Discord that's going to be at the meetup next week. I think the lighting is done really well. I don't know if this is Unreal 4. There was no Unreal 4 um, logo thing when I started it up. But it is done uh, really well. Is John still supplying me lunch? I'd probably be a chip. Thankfully, not many people will be uh, drinking at the meetup because uh, the majority of people are either driving or teetotal. Take Dundee cake. Well, he's not. He's in. He's in Wales. He could bring a leak with him. Five percent. Oops, mind that tree. See again, make the lawn so much easier. Get rid of the bloody trees. going to have grass just have one big bit of grass and that's it don't muck around with all this bloody fiddly bits around the outside of it see if you'd have planned it right John you could have gone uh, from Wales back to uh, the meet-up and then the meet-up back home. A bit of poor, uh, poor social planning there. Cut around this tree this side. There we go. Alright, nearly 60% done. It's installing FS19. Nice. It's going to get cheaper because of uh, 20 coming out, uh, 22 coming out soon. So uh, if you want to pick up 19 as a real bargain. Yep. Yeah, trees being in a way definitely a pain. Sleeping Gamer, thank you very much for the follow. Did you follow the other day? Obviously not. Thank you indeed. Fuel, yeah I know. 
Ah, you're only in Wales till Saturday. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's a good way of learning. Spend time in FS19, learn the basics for nine quid. Wales. Find the tree. Yeah, I don't know what happens if I actually run out of fuel. Again, I should be able to just go back to my trailer and refill, but I thought I'd have enough, but didn't anticipate how big this uh, lawn was going to be. only two-thirds of the way through. Definitely doesn't feel as though there's still a third left. Yeah, the lighting, I, I'm just really impressed with this as a game. Sometimes it's just the the real um, the real simple game is sometimes the best. And obviously the fact that you know you're a bit slow, John, is why you're falling a bit behind. You don't go blaming the Wi-Fi. It's definitely a game you could you know you could put on trundle around the field like uh, a, a lawn like this and just de-stress definitely you know one of those end of a crap day uh, sort of uh, sort of games where uh, you haven't got to think about it you can just turn it on and uh, just trundle around that way. Alright, 71%. It's not another 30% left there, surely. You're not as slow as the Wi-Fi. <laughs> well, that's a plus, I suppose. Oh, God. We have mine that tree tree there. Actually a bit we got less, probably similar to that first lawn we cut. And these lawns aren't that big compared to some of the ones you get further on in the game, which is why you then really want to go for a bigger mower. So this has only got an 89 centimetre deck it's recommending 130 centimeters because you've got a time as well so I think it's like 39 minutes or something um, to get this done I'm slightly now concerned by fuel levels I might have to nip back to my trailer And fill it with fuel. So I've still got another twenty five per cent to go. Yeah, if you are new to the streams, then welcome indeed. Uh, as a community, we stream uh, six days of the week. Uh, I normally do a couple of uh, days of single player stuff uh, and then uh, a few days of uh, multiplayer. Um, so today is this in single player, tomorrow is uh, some train sim. Uh, Thursday night, some uh, multiplayer flying in MSFS. Friday night, some multiplayer trucking. 
Uh, Saturday lunchtime will be something single player. And uh, Saturday night will be some uh, Forza Horizon 4 in multiplayer. And Sunday afternoon will be on our uh, community farm. So some streams we have to just sit and listen to me waffle on. And uh, other streams where other people waffle on as well. Right, I'm really gonna need fuel. I'm gonna have to go. Oh god, I missed that bit. So blade conditions below 50%. I have to get the blade repaired. So I'll get this bit here done, then go and put some fuel in. Really got to come around the other side of this square thing, pond thing, tank thing, pond. What's it? That's really nice water detail as well. That looks very nice. Right, it's going back up onto my trader without damaging I can't okay I can't can't refuel. Uh oh, that's an issue. Hopefully then, if I run out of fuel, it might just give me the option of uh, refueling it. I thought I could go back to the trader. put some fuel in. Okay, so we got 18% to go and not a lot of fuel. Let's see if we can finish it then. I don't think we will personally. I also don't think, or well, can't see how they can be this much grass left. Unless I've missed a bit of the garden, but I don't think I have. Oh god, I'm caught on the pond. I like the fact the lighting changes so you can see that like one side of the blade of grass to the other. So you go in one direction it doesn't look like it's cut and then you go down the other way and it has been. The lighting is really smart. Seven percent. Fuel gauge is on empty. Uh, 
hope it doesn't void the whole contract if I run out of fuel. It shouldn't do, hopefully. Just don't mow the pond. If you Okay. Now what? Uh-huh. <laughs> um Um, I can't. Okay, it's that. No, surely I haven't got to exit the contract just because I ran out of fuel. That'd be slightly evil if that was the case. I can't get off the mower. You can end the contract early by returning to your trailer and still earn money and reputation points. Yeah, but I can't. <laughs> oh, now you tell me. So I could have done that. Uh, huh. Is there an? Hang on, is there a control I'm missing? Uh, controls. Up and down, change cut height, throttle, accelerate, brake, sprint, first person camera. Pro view, reset camera, interact, lower deck, B to dismount. I wonder if I can dismount. No, I can't dismount. Have I actually got to exit then? No. Okay. That's actually quite a severe issue because I can't get off Mimoa. I can't. See, I can either resume it or quit it. I can't do anything else. So the only thing to do then is to quit back to the main menu. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Change cutting blades. Fill fuel. God for that. Ha ah. There we go. Okay, we're all safe. I was thinking that would be quite bad if you couldn't Right, so yeah, I wasn't holding B down for long enough, it would seem. I still don't know if it's going to be another 10% of the lawn here. Because this is the only bit that I've got to cut. I can do my uh, spidey view though and see... Oh god. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this is the last little tiny bit, and this ain't 10% of the lawn.
hang on, so all of that hasn't been cut. How is... How did I not cut it? Is it because it was too long to do? Oh, you can see it, look. I think it was that... Uh, no, because it wanted it between five and six. You reckon it's the blade? Oh, it could have been, because my blade was damaged that it wasn't cutting it all to the right length. Tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll take a forfeit and leave them with the uh, I'll go in my spidey sense that all of that that hasn't been hasn't been cut basically means going around the whole garden again. And get off a pair of blade. I could try it, I suppose. I didn't do that, did I? Out. Change cutting blades. Oh, we go. There we go. That's better. Right. Let's try this then. Lower my thing down. There we go, let's see if that... Uh... Yeah, 91.4, I think I'm going to do a complete lap. Oh, mind that, of the whole thing again. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Because we'll be here for another... <laughs> another hour. Okay. Well, you learn by doing. In that... Uh, I know now... That if the blades are damaged at the beginning... Repair them. I thought I could get away with it. But that obviously means that it's not cutting to its full. Which is quite good actually, because it would miss bits if the blade was damaged. But yeah, as you can see by the percentage going up, it's going to take an absolute age to uh, get that up to 99.5% <laughs> going round and round the field. Yeah, we'll take our forfeit. And we go back. And then... And see how we... Uh, see, oh God, see how we did. Right, let's see what it gave me. It isn't gonna like some of it because it's like, hang on a minute. It's it's well, it's bits, it's 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 moan. 
in other bits it's not as moan it's going to score me down for that in there because i didn't actually finish the job uh right ground check time bonus uh was five pound 46 ground check earnings 20 pound uh cutting time bonus zero valuables recovered zero penalties and fines 25 pounds uh ground checks uh, was zero collisions 25 quid yeah i did hit their fence quite a bit uh, vehicle maintenance 56 pound i actually took that off my thing so i still got 656 quid for that which ain't bad i suppose i don't know what my points were for that uh oh weekly earnings there we go so money earned 2614 uh the employees didn't earn anything uh wages was zero hang on a minute i don't get paid Penalty is 98 quid. Vehicle purchases, 2,600. Vehicle maintenance, zero. Building purchases, 1,500 pounds. Ended up uh, total weekly loss of 1,640. Not really great for business, is it? When you have a, a weekly loss of 1,640 quid. There we go. That's probably a good time to... Uh, to end uh, our upgrade is in progress uh, of oh, four days to go uh, in game time to do the upgrade um, which isn't bad uh, so there's quite a few jobs so we've got three jobs here that we could uh, we could do see that's quite a small one 360 quid uh, Hilltop Jefferson Garden is one we just did with the thing in the front that was a Davies Garden and then the old nook cottage so it's quite cool now you get different uh different car that one's quite quite a simple one in it 360 quid um so you could just go and earn little bits of money uh vehicle wise in case anyone didn't see them uh, we'll run through the uh the tractors uh tractors lawn mowers see you got farming on the brain uh so this is the one we've got so it's a mulcher type um so you don't need a grass box for it uh the one we're going to aim for and get next is the one with the grass box actually no is that one wasn't it Perhaps we do need one with the grass box on as well. Actually, we'll do that next next time. So we'll come back and do some more of this. We'll aim for the one with the grass box. So 2,100. So another two lawns and we can buy that. Uh, then there's the mulcher type. Uh, so bigger. Ours has got a deck of a 98 centimetres. Uh, next one up has got 108 centimetres. Then you go up again to 122 centimetre deck size. Uh, then 132 centimeters. Uh, that one's got 122, so back down again. Um, don't know why you'd go down. I think that's got a zero turn. No, that's zero turn. Don't know why you'd go. Why well, that one's better? Oh, it's got a recycler kit on it. Okay. Uh, then there's this thing, uh, which has got 122 uh, deck size. Uh, that one's got 155. That's a beast. That a whip round these things, wouldn't it? You get them done in no time. Like 50% more deck. Deck. Uh, then that that was quite cool. 122. That one's got 152 as well. Uh, then 127. And then finally uh, 152. Whether they'll bring in um, bigger things. Whether there'll be more additions to the game. Hopefully it'd be nice to go up to, you know, proper like tractor type. Although that, you know, that technically. Where is it? That technically is. But I think in the States, these sort of things are popular uh, with the handles, so the zero turn ones. But it'd be nice to see some like actual, you know, tractor type ones. Um, so whether there will be anything bigger in future, you know, proper like rollers and stuff on them, uh, they'd be quite cool. And as we said earlier, having something uh, where you could do like a cricket pitch or football stadiums and stuff like that could be quite cool as well. Uh, so there will be more of this uh, in the future. We will come back and continue our mowing uh, career going forward. Um, but yeah, I really like it. It's definitely one of those games where you can spend a bit of time and just chill. You could jump on, you know, do a lawn for like 40 minutes, uh, chill out, build up your empire. I'm certainly intrigued to see what happens when we take on an employee. So we'll be able to do that next time um, and buy a new mower. Uh, that's going to happen. We'll come back to this uh, over the next couple of weeks uh, and do some more. Uh, so there we go. We will end there. Next stream then is tomorrow back at 6 p.m. Uh, for some train sim uh, somewhere in the U well, somewhere in Wales. It would seem, isn't it? Lovely. Um, and then uh, Thursday night back with some MSFS flying from Southampton 
uh, up to uh, Liverpool. Is this any good? Yes. Uh, really enjoyable, actually. If you like farm sim and like chilled out uh, sort of games, it's really good. Um, so go back and watch the VOD. Or, or I've got a video on YouTube, uh, my first look that went out yesterday. Uh, so worth checking that out. Uh, yeah, MSFS on Friday, uh, trucking back in America. Uh, no, MSFS on Thursday, trucking back in America on Friday. Something single player, Saturday lunchtime. Uh, and Saturday night back with some Forza Horizon 4. So expect golf with friends, because Forza... Well, there won't be enough of us. Uh, and then Sunday afternoon back on the farm. Uh, so thank you for you lot in chat. For keeping me company for pretty much the last uh, two and a half hours. Uh, no one in voice uh, to thank this evening. So I will run the credits. Oh, there's nothing uh, to poke the fun out of liking sim games. Uh, we're a whole community around sim games. Thank you to Larwood, Nightbot and Sam for moderating. To Sleeping Gamer, uh, Sithmaster, Creeper Gaming and Fragilitis for following. Sithmaster and Domrado for subscribing. And Crispy, Skippy and Simhub for doing some hosting. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, I will be back then tomorrow night in a train uh, in Wales. So uh, look forward to that one. Uh, until then, though, if you have been... Thanks very, very much for watching.